Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Wisted. Today's video, I'm gonna share with you a shopping haul that I did recently. I am in my second trimester of pregnancy. Um, so some of these clothes are maternity clothes. Some of them are not, but I bought them thinking um, I could wear them as my bump starts to grow. Um, so I did go shopping at Zara, H&M, and two maternity brands. One is Kindred Bravery, and then the other one is Hatch. So I'm gonna share with you what I picked up from there, and yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Zara. Um, I just picked up a few things. Some of the things I actually have already worn already just because I was too excited to hold off for this video. Um, but I wanna share with them with you. And like I said, I am in my second trimester. I am 22 weeks pregnant today, um, 23 tomorrow actually. So I have a slight bump, but it's not huge yet. So when I was shopping, I just wanted to find pieces that were comfortable, but also able to grow into as my bump starts to grow a little bit further. Um, I have heard mixed reviews from people who have been pregnant or have gone through pregnancy saying don't waste your money on maternity clothes. And then other people saying buy one or two things that are like really nice for maternity styles. So like a pair of jeans and like maybe a pair of like leggings or something like that. And then just wear those as your bump starts to grow. And then I hear people saying just buy all the cheap stuff. And I am kind of trying to figure it out myself as to what I prefer and what I would recommend. Um, I will say I did a recent maternity haul with Misguided. Um, I didn't film it. I think I had it in a vlog where I might have shared it. I'm not even sure. I don't even remember if I posted it, but um, there, I do not recommend this guided maternity clothes. It's just, everything was so thin and you could tell cheaply made. And those of you who've been pregnant know, like as your body starts to change, you already start to not feel like yourself and you're trying to understand how to dress this new body and putting clothes on that you can just feel are not well made kind of makes everything feel worse or at least they do in my opinion so i definitely am leaning towards the buy a few nicer maternity items and then everything else maybe stay in like the non-maternity um section that like can grow with you and can um just grow as your body changes or whatever so with that in mind i did shop at zara which obviously is not a maternity brand so all of these items you can wear if you are not pregnant or if you are pregnant, and then the best part is if you are um, pregnant, you can still wear it after your pregnancy. So that's kind of what I was going for. So the first item that I picked up was this cropped black turtleneck sweater. And it is cropped, and yes, I did wear this. There's like some lint on it. I probably should have gotten a lint roller, but I'm already up here and my lint roller is downstairs. So I'm just gonna show it to you as it is. Um, but I figured, like I said, like as your bump starts to grow, chunkier oversized sweaters are still a good option, but sometimes I just wanna feel a little bit more put together. So I might wear something like leggings on the bottom and then a cropped sweater just so that you can tell a little bit more that I'm pregnant and not just, I guess, gaining weight. I don't know. This is the first video I've filmed about pregnancy or maternity wear. So I feel like I might be saying the wrong thing. So please just bear with me as I'm trying to explain my vision behind buying these clothes. Um, but I just figured a cropped black sweater I could wear with just black leggings and you'd be able to see the baby bump a little bit better. All right, so here is the cropped sweater. And like I was saying, pairing it with like some leggings so you can see the bump, but it's not like covering it. So it kind of is noticeable that you are pregnant and you're just not, I don't know, it just doesn't look oversized and chunky and like frumpy, if that makes sense. So yeah, I just thought it was really cute and just something a little bit different to wear around the house. A lot of the things that I bought, by the way, are knit material. And the reason that I bought that is because knit does seem to stretch. I don't know what it's gonna do if I wear it with a full pregnant belly versus like after that, if it stretches out. So I'll be your guinea pig on that. But luckily Zara isn't too expensive so if i stretch something out then i can just save it for the next time that i'm pregnant and it's not the end of the world i got this maxi knit dress and it's just this white knit long maxi dress and well it's midi i don't know why i keep saying maxi this sweater dress is short sleeve or no sleeve so i feel like that's perfect as we move into uh, warmer months it's january right now 
um, probably February when I post this video. And I know that, you know, it's going to be cold for a few months, but then it might start getting warmer. So a sleeveless dress, I feel like it's perfect for that. And it is very stretchy. So I feel like that's going to be perfect as my mom starts to grow. I picked up the matching maxi sweater that goes with it. And it is the same exact color, which I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a thing about matching colors exactly. So if there's a set of something, I'm usually going to buy it together because if it matches, it just like, I guess makes my heart so much happier than the white being slightly off or whatever it may be. So I did pick up the maxi cardigan as well. I do work for, I mean, I think a lot of you are still working from home full time, but I do work from home full time regardless of COVID and I wear a cardigan or some sort of sweater almost daily just because I get cold in the mornings and then I want to take it off. But I feel like that's the case for if you work in an office as well, you might want to bring a sweater just in case it's too cold in the office or if it's hot, you can just like take it off and have your item underneath it. So I do wear maxi cardigans all the time. So not only did I want to get this one to match this dress, but I did want to get it just because I don't have a white knit maxi cardigan that I could just throw on with other outfits if I want to. Okay, so this is the white set and you guys, I love this so much. It is so comfortable and it just, I feel like it's just like a perfect throw on and go look. And of course you can tell, you can still see like the bump a little bit, which is kind of nice. But I just like love that these two match together or you can take the sweater off and the dress itself is really cute by itself. Um, so then you can pair the sweater with something else and yeah, super comfortable. So of course you can wear it around the house if you want, or if you just want to like throw it on and meet somebody for lunch or anything like that, I feel like it's a perfect go-to. The next item is this cropped like sweater jacket. They call it a sweater jacket online and it is thicker. So I definitely think it's like more of a jacket type material, but it's, it's still a knit. So it's still comfortable and, um, like wearable in the house. And the best part about it is it is cropped. So I figured again, just like the cropped turtleneck sweater that I showed you guys, I feel like it'd be really cute with um, leggings so that you can like show off your bump a little bit, but still have like a cute little like sweater top on the top part and it's knit. So it's going to be comfortable so you can wear it in the house or if you do leave the house, it would still be really cute. Just like out and about if you're running errands or going to lunch or whatever it may be. Um, the other thing that I thought about recently is breastfeeding. Um, again, I know this is also new to me, so I'm talking about it as like I've never breastfed before, but my friends have all recommended getting like sweaters and just button down shirts that are just like easy to breastfeed on the go. And this one, of course, you can tie it, but it is one that you can like open up as needed. So. I thought long term this would be a good option for me as well. Okay, you guys, I know I keep saying I'm obsessed with these different things that I'm trying on, but this sweater jacket thing is so cute and so thick, and it just feels like such good quality. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. So what I did is I tied it around. I actually tucked it up on this side. Um, but you don't have to do it like that. You can tie it a few different ways and I guess just feel like it's very versatile. You can tie it over like a shirt dress or something like that or just wear it with leggings. I just feel like it's super cute, super comfortable. And like I said, if you're breastfeeding, being able to like open it up really easily is also a plus. So the next to last item that I picked up were these lug boots. They're the like welly style boots that are knee high. And I feel like I've been seeing these like everywhere lately. If you're somebody who really wears their shoes to death and maybe doesn't want to invest in something higher end, like I just feel like Zara has such a good quality pair of shoes for not that expensive. So I buy a lot of my shoes from Zara. Um, and these ones, you know, of course are not disappointing. I just love the like matte texture that they have. And I feel like the design, like the lug sole just looks so good. So I'm really excited to wear these. So here are the boots on. They are so cute. Like I said, I love like the matte finish of it and they just look a little bit nicer than a lot of the boots that I've been seeing like this. Like I feel like they're more stiff at the top versus like kind of floppy, if that makes sense. So yeah, I love these ones. I think they're super cute. And then the last two items that I got I'm actually wearing, I have already worn this already one time this week, 
and I'm wearing them again because it is that comfortable you guys and if there's anything in this haul that I think you should get it's the set that I'm wearing um, but it's basically this knit like crew neck top and then a pair of knit joggers here is the sweat set that I am wearing and like I said it's so so comfortable and just a really good matching everyday set that you can wear just doing anything obviously at home if you want to be comfortable and lounge around it's perfect for that but what i was saying like in terms of maternity it goes really really high up which is so nice because it's going completely over my bump and it is stretchy so because it's knit it's just going to continue to stretch um like i said i also don't have any clue if that means i can't wear them after pregnancy i might have stretched them out who knows <laughs> But I mean, luckily this set wasn't like majorly expensive, but it's like something that I feel like I'm going to completely live in while pregnant. Okay, so the next few items that I got are from H&M. So I did do kind of a, not a bigger haul there, but I did pick up a few more like maternity focused pieces, like some leggings and, well, honestly, just the leggings and the joggers that I'll show you in just a bit. Everything else is non-maternity and you don't have to be pregnant to wear them. <laughs> Um, but the first piece I thought was so cute and I highly, highly recommend. And it's this cream, like, peplum. I don't know if you call this a peplum, but it's like this um, exaggerated collar knit. And it is a chunkier knit and it has like kind of a balloon sleeve almost. So it's just very comfy, very cozy. And I did get an extra small in this because um, similar to those cropped sweaters that I was showing you from Zara. I wanted to be able to wear this with leggings, but have it come so that it sits like above my bump. So you can still see that I am pregnant um, versus like covering it with the sweater and just looking a little bit larger than normal. I feel a little like a broken record wearing a lot of my chunky knit cropped sweaters with leggings. I just feel like this is such a comfortable go-to pregnancy look that I just wanted to be able to I don't know, keep them on rotation. You know, obviously wearing regular pants isn't as comfortable, so I just feel like I'm gonna be living in leggings over the next few months. And I just wanted like some really cute tops to pair along with it. And yeah, I thought this was really cute. So I'm obsessed with this collar. It's like super, super exaggerated. Um, it's a little bit different, so like I get that maybe not everyone would be interested in this, but I think it just looks so chic and so different and just, I don't know, just very on trend, I guess. So, and it's from H&M, so like I said, the price point's really, really good. Um, but I just think this looks so good. This next item is H&M's maternity leggings, and it's kind of hard to show you on a camera. I'll show, try them on for you. But they just have this, um, they're their sports maternity leggings, so they're a little bit thicker, and they have like some ribbed on the side. But that's what I wanted. I didn't want like a super thin, just like standard legging. I wanted it to be a little bit thicker and just a little bit more interesting than that. So that's why I picked these ones up. And the best part about these is they do have like, it's almost like shapewear. I mean, it's not quite shapewear, but it's like tighter on other places, but a little bit like more loose, like in the belly area, which I think is really great. Showing you this outfit again to show you the leggings. So these are the H&M leggings and they're super super comfortable um it's kind of hard to show black but let me see if i can show you this way there's like let me go here there's like rib it's like a rib knit but then it has like this panel right here and then this is like super super like comfortable like it's a little bit more stretchy here than it is here if that makes sense so yeah I think these leggings are super comfortable if you're pregnant just because I feel like it gives you like more area to grow here, like less stretch. And then this is still like pretty tight and stretchy. The next pair are these maternity joggers from H&M. So they do have like the maternity waist where it's like a little bit stretchier right here and the actual pants part starts a little bit below your bump, which is kind of nice. Um, they are comfortable. They, they are definitely something that if you want comfortable pants, I think it's worth buying. They're not like my favorite in terms of how they fit, but I mean, it's always nice to have a pair of joggers that are gonna fit your belly. So I feel like that's a good option for that. The joggers, um, just wanted to mention that these are so comfortable and they come up like pretty high above your bump, which I think is really nice because 
Again, for me, I don't like when something cuts me off like right in the middle or even goes underneath my bump. It's just not, for me, as comfortable. It's not my preference. So I just really love that this comes up so high and um, just kind of covers everything. So it does have like a seam, which I don't know if you can see like right here. So likely you'll want to cover that, but because they're black, you can't really even see the seam. So I can, I feel like wearing this up like this still like looks okay. And I just love how it's, you know, joggers have like the um, more slouchy texture at the bottom versus like a legging, which I think looks really nice, especially tucked into boots like this. And of course there's pockets. Who doesn't love pockets? So that's, I guess, the benefit of a jogger over a legging. The next item is this chunky knit sweater. It's still, again, going into my like same vision that I had with the other sweaters where I got a smaller size so it could hopefully like sit above my bump and it is chunkier, which I just love the thought of like a more volume at the top and then wearing leggings at the bottom. So I just feel like that just is a really cool composition. So I bought this one as well. It's just like a camel color. I have this in, it's like a, it's like a gray beige color and I wear it all the time. Um, it does shed kind of a lot, so just giving you a forewarning on that, but I just feel like H&M has really good sweaters and this is a really beautiful, like made one for, again, the price point is just so great. I feel like for the price point, this looks like very, very high quality. I mean, I've said this before and I'll say it again, H&M does have really good sweaters and their coats are pretty good as well. So yeah, I just keep going back to H&M sweaters and I don't tend to get rid of them often, which I do feel like says a lot because I'm constantly trying to get rid of clothes in my closet. If you're pregnant, I just feel like this, this is just a really cute like throw on. Um, wear it with some sort of joggers or some sort of leggings and tuck it up a little bit and it just looks really cute. So the next two items I did buy as a set, these are not maternity, so if you are not pregnant, you could also get these. Um, the first one is this sweater and it's just a crew neck like light beige sweater. So just something really, really basic and it's a little bit more thin. So if you're somebody who gets really hot wearing like super thick, chunky sweaters, like I've been showing you, I love a chunky sweater, but I know some people can get overheated or just get hot really quickly. Um, this one's a little bit more thin. So this is like a little bit easier to wear every day, out and about, that kind of thing. And they have a matching knit mini skirt with it, which is great. So it's just two separate pieces and they perfectly match together, which is, again, makes my heart so happy. So if you're pregnant, you can wear something tighter on the bottom, like a mini skirt like this, and kind of like accentuate your bump, and then have something a little bit more volume or oversized on the top that you can like tuck in over your bump, and I just think that that looks so good. All right, you guys, so this is the two-piece sweater set, which I think is so cute, and it's also really, really comfortable. It's um, very stretchy. And like I said, it's a little bit more thin than a normal like sweater sweater. I don't know if you can really tell about that on camera. But I really just love this paired together. I think, again, this is a good like throw on and go if you want to look presentable. Um, you want to meet somebody for lunch or drinks. Or not drinks. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm pregnant. But you know what I mean. So just like meeting somebody really quickly, I think this is like... A very cute just throw on look I did tuck this sweater in which normally I don't tuck it in normally I do like the bra tuck where you just tuck the front part into the bra but because this is a little bit more thin I feel like it's fine to tuck it in and I'm also not trying to hide my stomach so if I add a little bit to my stomach I think it's fine just like it a little bit better tucked in than I do in the bra tuck I think it looks like a dress versus like two separate sets but I will say it being two sets is you can wear them separately as well, which is really great. So yeah, I love this look. All right, so this is the last H&M item that I picked up and it's just this long wool coat and it's this like dark olive brown color. It's more of like an olive like army green color. Um, I've been really, really obsessed with wearing like sweatpants, like a full sweatsuit, like matching sweatsuit with a really smart, I'm using smart because that's what all of the YouTubers that I watch in the UK say, but something just a little bit more structured and more 
I don't know, pulled together as a coat to go over it. So anytime I'm leaving the house to go to the grocery store or even to just grab coffee, you can just throw on your sweatsuit that you'll probably wear throughout the rest of the day um, and then throw on a really nice fitted, not even fitted, just like a really nice looking coat. Cause I feel like that just like adds an element of she's got her shit together. <laughs> so that's kind of like where my mind was at. And I didn't have a color like this. And I also felt like the shape of this was really, really well made. Here is the coat. I wanted to show it to you guys closed because I think it looks so nice closed. Like it just is so structured. Like it's not floppy or flimsy. Like sometimes you can get on um, coats that aren't like super well made, but you can tell that this one is quality and I just love the width of this lapel. I think that just looks so good. Um, and like I said, it's like a really cool color that, you know, I wouldn't normally have in my closet because I normally stick to like black or camel or something like that when it comes to coats. Um, and then to show you guys it open, it's just like an oversized like menswear inspired coat. And I just think it's so cool. Like I think everything about it is just like super chic and you can just throw it on over pretty much anything. Um, it'd look really, really good with like a black turtleneck like tight fitted shirt underneath um, with leggings or whatever it is if you're pregnant. Um, but I just think this, it looks so cute. I love this coat so much. Okay, so the next brand that I'm sharing with you is Kindred Bravery, and this is a true maternity brand. That is what they do, um, maternity and postpartum wear. So I was very curious to see how their like clothes stack up against non-maternity brands. So that's kind of why I went in that direction. Um, so the first two things that I got of course add to the research that I'm doing for you guys but the first is these leggings and they're just their true maternity leggings um, it says maternity and postpartum so I think they might be good for postpartum as well I don't know I've never been postpartum so I'm going to try these ones out I have not tried these on but they feel very thick they feel kind of smooth which is nice like you know sometimes when you feel leggings that aren't nicely made they just feel kind of like I don't even know what the word is that I'm looking for. Just like scratchy. I don't know. Thin? I don't know. But they just like feel like nice and smooth and a little bit thicker, which is obviously what I look for when I am purchasing leggings. And then I picked up their shorts as well. It's just the leggings, but the shorts version. I have already worn these. I feel like anytime I'm wearing dresses, especially now, I want to have some sort of like little shorts underneath them. So when I'm wearing dresses throughout the day, it's more comfortable for me to have some sort of like, like cycling short or something underneath just because, I don't know, I, I'm a pants girl. I love pants. I don't necessarily love dresses and skirts, but I wear them because I think they look really nice. But for the most part, if I could live in pants, I would live in pants. So this kind of makes me feel like I'm just wearing pants with like an oversized shirt if you will so i'll quickly show you guys these but i don't really have too much to say because i don't really know anything about them but they also have um nursing bras which i think are really cool these ones just look a little bit nicer to me um and they have like the hook so you can like unhook it and like nurse if you need to so i got it in black and in nude all right you guys this is the kindred bravery set and it is so comfortable like these leggings are amazing they're like super super soft like almost like butter like if that even makes any sense um but i love them so much and they go so high they like even go like underneath this bra this is one of the nursing bras or it's actually a nursing sports bra that they set so i feel like i'm gonna be living in this um even without like I don't know, just throwing like a sweater or cardigan over it. This is just so cute and so comfortable. And I don't I really have anything else to say because I feel like it's just a black set. You can throw sweaters on with it. You can throw cardigans on with it. Um, you can wear boots with it. Like it's just a pretty much a basic that goes with everything. So yeah, I'm loving this so far. Okay, so the last brand that I wanted to show you guys is Hatch. And I just picked up this. It's like a waffle knit long sleeve maxi dress. So it's just a knit maxi dress 
in this gray just like neutral color which I thought would be so comfortable and I have tried this one on and it is very very comfortable um, it's a little oversized so the fact that my bump isn't huge is um I feel like I have to like show like if I'm leaving the house I feel like it just looks a little like oversized on me but I know like as my bump gets bigger then it'll make sense why this dress is so big um but right now I feel like I have to like sh share or like hold my bump or something to like show it off a little bit more um but I will say it's so comfortable like I put it on and it just felt like I was wearing one big oversized shirt um and it is like a, a little bit thinner of a like sweater which again I like because then you, if you're cold you can throw something else on top if you're warm then you have like a thinner knit sweater that's not like super super chunky that's gonna um make you hot so I do like this one as well so this is the dress from hatch and I was telling you guys it is very oversized on me and so I kind of feel like I have to hold my bum just to kind of show like that it's actually there and give it a little bit more shape um, I am like five one and a half. I always run up to five two and I'm technically petite built and this is a small So if they had a smaller size, I probably should have gotten that but I think the small was the smallest size that they had um, I did try and wear them with flat boots and because it was so oversized it didn't look It wasn't my favorite So I feel like if something is this oversized and you still you know want to wear it because it is so comfortable like I can't even begin to explain to you it just feels like I'm wearing one big blanket which I've just been wanting to be comfortable lately anyway so this is like such a dream um but I just threw it on with some heels if I were to leave the house because I feel like that adds a little bit of height and just makes it look a little bit better other than that like I really do love this like I feel like the waffle knit is super cute super comfortable and I like the gray it's like not a it's like a light gray, like, I don't know the word that I'm looking for, but it's a good color gray. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's super comfortable and I can just see myself wearing this around the house, especially as the belly starts to grow a little bit more. So definitely happy with this one. Okay, so that was it. That was my recent shopping haul. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I will try and link everything down below. Zara tends to sell out fast when I get it, but I will leave the reference numbers or link it below if I can. Um, and I think that's really all I have to say. So if you liked this video, please go ahead and subscribe as well. And let me know if you have any questions or if there's any like styling videos you want me to do down in the comments below. I would really appreciate that. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So I will see you guys on my next video.